Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. This is day two. Monkey's just leaving. She dropped me off. It's getting late morning. We've been sitting here probably for about an hour. Yeah, it's been about an hour. Um, got out here about 9.30. So, everything's fine. Uh, I'm going to put my hammock up from this tree to that tree with the door facing this way so that way I got some air blowing underneath me and besides I think monkey's gonna need this spot <laughs> stick around guys more to come okay guys so I'm gonna try out my little tiny pillow that Monkey bought for me. She got it on Timu. So we're gonna get this out. It's inflatable, of course. And I didn't bring any bedding because I'm not gonna need it. I might have, maybe should have brought something to, um, to keep me from sticking my pack because it's gonna be hot. Now this supposedly, it's just got a smiley face. You're supposed to be able to pump this up and I'm not sure how to do it. Got me and the airboats are out like crazy today. Just pumping it up here. I don't see a way you can blow it up by mouth. That one little hole. So I'm gonna pump this up because I got another airboat coming. And they don't care. They'll wait till they get like right in front of you and then they'll gas it and think they're being funny and stuff ignorant so let me get this so let me get this aired up it's gonna be like that all day until night time then I'll be back with you okay so I got it pumped up well, I didn't actually pump it up. I just blew it up. I was sitting here for like five minutes. It was getting air in it, but I was pumping it. And I was like, three breaths. And that was aired up. I need to get, I think she's looking around for a cooling pad like Bruno's got, but only for me for inside that tank. Because, I mean, it's like scorching out here. It was at nine o'clock this morning. It was 91 with a real feel of 100 so and I got a heat advisory today so it's supposed to get a lot hotter than that now it's supposed to rain at one o'clock but you never know we're in Florida I'm sure it will but I don't think we'll get anything to speak of but I'm gonna go put this in there I got my pad already blown up and, and in there um, I think I'm gonna put my my rain fly on but just have it opened up so that way if it does rain I can just peel it back over um, I brought some trash bags for my camera equipment and other stuff like that. I brought a raincoat, so I should be all right if it does rain, so we'll see how well this does. All right, guys, I'm pretty well set up. I got my light up on one of those light poles that I just did a, a video on. Um, it's up nine feet, I think, maybe ten. I think it's ten feet. Yeah, three, 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 another foot, about 10 feet. So, yeah, it's up there. Sorry about the sound, but it's not my original tripod. I'll have to find my Vaseline and grease that up, but it's right back there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know what you're seeing. Anyway. It's back there so sorry I don't find my little tube of Vaseline I'll oil that up but sitting here in front of my fan yes I brought my battery out the inverter so I can have a little air I've got that fan that goes around my neck that monkey bought for me and I've got 
sorry. I've got those um, things that you wet, these cloth things, and they breathe real good. You wet them, you wring them out, you put them around your neck. Keeps your carotid arteries cool, so that way it keeps your blood cool. They help out a lot. Right now it's not over overwhelming, so I don't have much juices in this battery. I took it out of the boat. I didn't charge it, but I thought, that'll ah, be all right. At least I got some air moving right now. Then we're going to put in a couple lines in the water and see how that goes. So that should be a lot of fun. I got my big thing of water here. I got another thing of frozen water over there. That's good. And I got some soda pop. So, yeah, should be a lot of fun then. Monkey's coming back out later. She's going to bring me some food. I didn't bring anything. I always carry, though, in my pack, I always carry two uh, bouillon, chicken bouillon cubes in case I need to have some kind of broth. If I don't feel good or something, I can drink some broth. But on a day like today, it'd have to be cold. I'm not drinking anything hot today. So, But I always keep them in there just in case. Hopefully I'll catch a fish. Maybe we can have fish for supper. That'd be cool. All right, guys. So I'm going to stay here and cool down for a few minutes. And we'll throw a couple rods in the water and see what happens. Okay, I think I fixed it. Nice. Put a little Vaseline in there. Didn't do nothing. Put a little bit of oil that I had for my little saw. It just had a few drops. Put it in there. Didn't do anything. So... I sprayed it, sprayed some of this in there. Smoothed it right out. Cool. Okay, guys. Got my rods in. Got two of them in. Didn't bring monkeys. I meant to bring monkeys for backup, but I got two, so I mean, if I ruin two of them by the time she gets back, I'm, I don't need to be fishing, right? And I put my wrong shirt on. I got one just like this, but it's got a pocket up here. And uh, I usually wear this one, try to wear this one fishing for, to put my cigarettes in, but anyway, got, got the rods in there. I don't know if you can see that. You're on the wrong side of me. I'm usually over here because I'm right-handed, but the sun, the way the sun is, it's high in the sky, so it's a little afternoon. Um, it was it, it was dark. <laughs> you couldn't really see anything. So I'm going to sit here for a little bit, see if we catch anything. Maybe we'll, we'll do a, a hook and cook. I don't know. Um, I doubt it. You could probably almost walk clear across this this river right now. I see some little fish swimming around. I don't want little fish, I want big fish. Okay guys, I'm getting hit on each of them. I don't know if you can see that black max, but it's moving. I got one on the banana rod. Doesn't feel very big, but I don't know if you can see that or not. Just doesn't Boat's coming, great. You're getting ready to run with this one, I think. Turn you off for a second till he goes by. Okay, he's over in that cove right now. He's idling. So he'll probably come back out here in a minute. Still hitting on the Black Max. Something's still hitting on this one, but I don't think it's very big. This one kind of stopped the banana rod. Now he's still hitting on it. Probably gonna have to pull me in, check my bait. I'll touch base with you if anything happens. I did bring my BWC, but 
man that thing's just so hot to wear right now oh no it's still hitting on the banana rod here probably a bluegill or small catfish and that breeze feels good I got my fan on that monkey bought me one uh, she she got that pink one I tried it and I liked it it helps I got it turned off now because of, so it doesn't bother you guys but um, then I got this blue thing on I soaked it down with uh, ice water and put it around my neck it really does help so all right guys stick around all right guys here we go nice man I forgot my stringer too this is a nice one not gonna wane but he's about a pound probably nice bass I thought okay. well anyway I thought I would try this thing about third cast he hit like that cool fish number two I made a stringer out of some uh, some paracord so we're gonna have some fish tonight nice I just had three airboats pull in right beside me over here so see if I can get you set up here to where maybe we can catch another one I don't know because they came in pretty close so move over here Jesus we'll go up here a little bit I'm gonna keep trying this see what happens sorry about the wind guys um, see no respect hang on okay guys so I wanted to show you what I caught there's two bass with zoom bass love them yeah apparently because I mean if there's bass there they're gonna they're gonna hit them zoom bait company so what I wanted to say was that I found this by the way it was a brand new pack uh, that you know people talk about me smoking and you know couple emails why can't you be like those you know big time bass fishermen that don't smoke well a bunch of them do you just don't see it on camera but anyway for the ones that don't and you know take a fishing or something you guys read what that says that's right warning cancer and reproductive harm and it gives you a website you can go to. I don't want to hear no more smoking stuff. You know, let me do my thing, you know. I don't drink. I don't do drugs. I don't go out to bars. I don't whore around. I fish, camp, and tinker around in the garage with stuff. Make videos for you guys. So, let's not talk about that no more. So, you know, these, these straight-up grade-A fishermen that, that are so perfect in every way, all they do is fish... Uh, you know they drink coffee that's caffeine that's bad for you you know they use these things can cause cancer and harm so I just wanted to throw that out there that's my little rant for today other than these stupid boats Eesh. all day long they've been going past here all stinking day whenever the fish start biting seems like they come around I gotta wait 20 minutes or so or half an hour Alright guys.
guys. I'll be back with you. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just got bit by a little tiny spider. It was on my fishing rod and I picked it up and felt something that started hurting. Felt like a hot needle. And I looked down, it was a little tiny brown spider and it took off and I shook it like that so it blew off in the wind. I would have never found it anyway because it was little but look how big that is. So monkey if you find me down and out you look at this video tell him it was a spider bite and this thing was tiny I mean it was big enough I could tell it was a spider but it was little it was brown it was all brown this thing is itching and it is burning Ooh. look at that alright let's try this again until the airboats get get back all right I'm gonna put you guys in the shade I'm gonna walk up here a little bit see if I can get anything up there okay we got some boomers happening back here and it's coming our way I just seen an older gentleman Heading to the path back there, hiking. He didn't have a pack on, but he had his walking sticks and stuff. You hear that? Oh, yeah, it's getting dark. All right, I gotta go get some of this stuff. Put away in some trash bags in case it decides to come down. At least that'll be that'll stay dry and uh, better get my raincoat out I think it's gonna pass it's still it's still pretty angry back over in there but I think it's gonna pass I got all the important stuff camera gear and stuff in my hammock I've got my backpack and two trash bags I set it down in one brought it up over top and then set another one down over top of it and then I got a big, big sheet of plastic over there, like drop cloth type plastic that I can just cover everything else that's not real important, like tackle box, it won't get wet inside, uh, stuff like that. So, didn't cool it down any. <laughs> Our deer's back. We saw it this morning, me and Monkey. And uh, as you can see, it's raining. Uh, I want to show it to you, but she had two Two Bambi deer with her. They still had spots All right, I got to do something hang on Well, this isn't what I thought it was I don't know what it is It's here It's boring Oh Dry in here though. Woo. <laughs> I hear the boats out there. <laughs> well, at least one of them. I got all my stuff in here. And my backpack, my camera equipment, my cigarettes, which are getting squashed. <laughs> All right, well, I'll let you know what's going to, what's happening. Usually don't last long, but we'll see. Going on about 30 minutes now, so I just heard a car door, but it wasn't monkey. I heard a guy say something. Didn't say anything to me, but... That is string off of my shirt, I guess. But we're still out there boating. It has slowed down. It got really bad. I was getting ready to turn you on, then it just kind of dwizzled out. So I think I'm gonna get.
looking out here. I still got a yellow in the water there. they do that's like when they see you fishing or something they intentionally speed up and try to get you with the because you know it blows water back just you know they're entitled down everything fish all right I'm gonna get out grab my boots they're on the table but I haven't covered up with my raincoat and see what's and see what's happening so stick around sounds like pretty much stopped other than what's on the trees so okay guys so we got one broke down and they're towing it these guys don't even respect each other they're towing that right and two other ones just went past here they slowed down right through here they slowed down right through here, and as soon as they got right beside them guys, they hit her full bore, both of them. Just splattered them with water, and Jesus. They don't even respect each other. So we've got people coming in here. They've been carrying all kinds of stuff that way. They're setting up right over there. But, the thing about it, I seen them carrying a generator down there. Generator, yeah. And an air conditioner. And it looks like they're carrying another air conditioner. So I'm gonna have to hear a damn generator run all fucking night. You can hear them people in that airboat, those airboats. There's like three of them sitting over there now. Should have spent the night out here last night when I would have had the whole place by myself. This is ridiculous. Man, stay home. You know, understand it's hot, bring a fan. But I got an inverter. You can't hear that thing running, you know. And this is the loudest. This is the loudest thing I've got right here. That's on high. Wow. Idiots. So I'm gonna have to hear a generator, maybe even two, but I'm gonna have to hear a generator run all night long, I'll bet you, I'll bet you anything. That's why I come out to places like this, get away from RVs, because that's all you hear in an RV park is generators running, you hear air conditioners running I'm out here in the middle of nowhere and I'm gonna to have to hear a generator running two air conditioners running ridiculous monkey's got a bunch of seashells in the bathroom in those shadow boxes I thought she liked that one this thing's huge there's my hand <laughs> I thought it was cool so saved that for her all right, guys, so Monkey made a bag. She's earlier than I thought she'd be. I gotta get these fish cleaned up. Uh, I said, did you get a tent? She didn't answer. So she went to go get something that she had bought. I don't know. She got something. <laughs> oh, boy. I knew it. <laughs> she got herself a little two-man, says hiker tent, but kind of heavy to be hiking with that. That's all, almost as heavy as that thing. 
little two man she was looking for a pop-up but they didn't have any so she went to go get her camera out of the truck <laughs> there's our trail <laughs> Okay, Monk. I told her I'd rent her that spot right there. <laughs> okay, guys. So, we got it set up. Didn't take real long. It's just the the fly part, they don't tell you how to put on. And I got to look and I was like, why is there a yellow thing here and all the other three are black? Well, up here on the rain fly on this corner is a yellow one. That's how we knew how to do that. She's very proud. She said this is her first tent that was hers, hers. So she's very proud of it. Pretty nice little tent. It was our trail. Yeah. Cute little tent. And of course this will roll back down and then you stake it out they clip on here I like that like a buckle and then you stake the rest of it out just like the back or you can do the back this way or you can have them both up there so, yeah, that's nice. yeah you can have them both up there if you want yeah or you don't have to have it on at all but right pretty cool you like it I'm on Cool. So this is my first tent tent. <laughs> Very nice monkey. We did camping. We did we campered. Yeah, I know. RVing. Yeah. We had a little camper and we off used it. We didn't tent. So yeah, that's her first tent of her very own. Yeah. Bruno's in the truck, he won't come out. <laughs> yeah, he's hot. Did you bring his cooling pad? No, yeah, it's in the truck. Is he sitting on it? No. <laughs> Goober. Yeah. All right, there you go, guys. So, uh, she got me down to $100 a night on lot fees, so. Huh? Lot fees. Lot fees. $100 a night. Oh, yeah? I wanted 200 but I told her I'd give her 50% discount. And there's mine. Unmitigated gauze on people. Two John boats just pulled right up there. I had my line in the water. They pulled right up in there. The first thing a little girl gets out and she walks over past my line, lifts my line up and just starts swimming around in the water. So I go to pull my line in. She's getting tangled up in my line. Monkey said, you need to keep an eye on your kids. I do watch my kids. And that guy's like, well, we'll just fucking move then. We'll just back out and move. Well, we'll, we'll fucking do that. You know, I mean, come on. What a mitigated goal. Who would do that? I damn sure wouldn't. Yeah. I mean, if I had to go pee or something, I would have said, hey, do you mind if I pull in here for a minute? Yeah. No, they just roll up like, you know, they've been here all week or something. Yeah, yeah. They own the place. Oh, well. I don't understand. They left. That's anymore. all that matters, so. All right, guys, we'll be back with you. Okay, so then people that was right next door, the ones that pulled up, they uh they left so um that's had enough of this over there playing their music and kids were screaming and yelling and i heard i guess one of the wives say well he could have just uh he could have just brought his lines in when he seen us pulling up. I said, oh, you want me to break camp too? Or just leave that stuff here for you guys to use? I said, it's, it's entitled people like yourselves is why your kids are going to grow up the way they are. And, uh, which is true. I mean, they didn't say a word to her. She come over and just lifted my line up, walked under, started getting out in the water. Right in front of where I'm fishing. And one of them said, oh, I see he's got a mouth on him, and I heard that. I said, well, you know, I said, there's two of you and one of me. That's not, that's not a fair fight. You guys are going to have to go get more friends. And the woman said, 
you think he's serious? He said, I don't know. Let's just go. Let's just go. Let him have his damn riverbank. <laughs> and they left. You know, I hate confrontation, but man, sometimes, you know, you just got to stand up for yourself. Hang on, guys. And the people that are camping next to where they were. Hang on, fish on. Not fighting much, but it's pulling, so might be a turtle. Hope not. I got a bite on a banana rod. <laughs> I don't have my net set up. catching these things. Oh, sorry guys. There he is. Oh shoot. Still got a bite on the banana rod. Shoot, my pliers are up at the table. There he goes. Shoot. Hannah saved my bait. All right. Well, let me get Casta back out. Something messing around with, with the banana rod now. So, all right, guys. At least you saw me bring one in. Okay, starting to get dark abnormally quick. I hope, hope we don't have another storm coming in. But monkey's coming back, so at least we'll have the car to get into if we need to. Wind's picking up. There's like a chill in the air. It cooled down a lot, so... Might have another storm brewing. So, if it storms, at least we'll know if monkey's tent leaks or not. I don't. I don't think it's waterproof. Uh, she forgot she was going to get because I always tell her, you know, waterproof. Now mine is. I didn't have to do anything to it. But those Walmart things, those Walmart tents, you usually have to waterproof them. She forgot to get the spray, but that's all right. Like I said, when she gets back, we'll at least have the truck, you know, we can get in if it gets really super bad. So. But, anyway, they're still hitting. You know, like I was saying, I hate confrontation, but man, you know, I love when people go out with their kids and have a great time, but when you just literally pull right up onto somebody that's fishing, you know, and they're setting up a tent, and I mean, they're established, and just let your kid just jump out of the boat and start getting in the water, moving people's fishing lines around. What the hell, you know? Now, that's And that's why they act like they do, because there's no punishment. You can't smack your kid's ass no more, you know? If you ground them, they want to call children's services on you. Hell with that. Bring back the paddle, man. I don't care. That's stupid. And then get mad at us, you know. Because, I, I, oh, I said, I said, look, I said, my wife was just wanting, you know, just wanting to make sure your daughter didn't get a hook in her foot, you know. 
or something. Jesus, that's all. I mean, that's stupid. There's a line in the water. There's probably a hook on the end of it. I mean, man, think about safety and don't teach your kids just go do what you want to do and the hell with everybody else. If somebody's there, make a move. You know what? I'm here till Monday. I ain't, I ain't moving, you know. And I said, you know, this, this river runs all the way up Florida clear into Georgia. I said, pick another spot, you know. I, I'm tired of it. Sometimes you just got to stand up for yourself or they would have just took over, you know. Mind if we use your picnic table? Mind if we use your tent? Let's use your poles too. I mean, where do you draw the line, you know? But I got a bite on the Black Max now. I got something messing around with the banana rod. Hope it's not another turtle. I hate them things. That one came off pretty easy, though. I just got my needle nose down there and just gave it a twist. It wasn't in his mouth. It was kind of like in his neck. So... Well, something was wanting that. <laughs> so, yeah, it came off pretty easy. I was going to weigh him. I thought, I'm getting tired of weighing turtles. You know, give me a fish I can weigh, you know? <laughs> there they are. There's two of them getting ready to clean them. I'm not going to show you guys that because you already seen me clean a fish. Monkey's going to get her camera. She wants to give pictures of it. But, there you go. I'm going to clean these up. And then, we'll shoot. <laughs> fish on the ground over here. Well, I had to throw him down. My pole was taking off. So, we're going to eat those. He's going to clean them up and we're going to eat those for dinner. And he's got a turtle over here. Hey, yeah. There he goes in the water. Stupid turtle. You're the turtle man. Yeah. You're the turtle, Look turtle what he man. Did. Oh, no. I just bought that, too. Wow. Huh. Those are those things I bought on Timu for the poles. And I think they work all right, but the turtle doesn't. All right, guys. Let me get these fish clean. <laughs> and uh, I'll be back with you. That was another turtle. I right, just got some butter in here. There's our fillets. Monkey washed them all for me. Come on, fish. Right on. And the ever famous Bad Bad Badia complete seasoning. Don't be shy with it. Alright. Monkey's never had bass before. So she's in for a treat. So I'll bring you back on when it's taste testing time. Okay. 
First time she's ever had bass. It smells really good. Now I didn't make a batter or anything because we don't have any flour or beer or eggs. Mm. Well, we do at home, but. Oh, that's nice. Got not. Oh, that's really nice. You like that? Yeah, and you just put butter and seasoning on it. Yep. Yeah. Imagine if you had batter on it. A little bit of lemon. Mm-hmm. Very good. You like it? Mm-hmm. There you go. All right, I'm going to let her eat. Yay. Okay, everyone. So we ate. Bruno ate. He liked that fish, huh? Yeah, he did. Sitting in the car for a few minutes. My back is killing me, so I got the seat laid back. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to call it a night. It's been a long day, huh, Mama? Yeah, it has. So, there's Bruno there. Hot. Yeah. Yeah, it was like, I don't know, what was it, 107 again? Heat yeah. index? Mm hmm. Yeah, it was pretty hot. <laughs> Very hot. That rain, though, as soon as it stopped, man, it got hotter. Yeah, it did. Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to let my back rest. I'm going to, this is going to be it for tonight. So, say bye, Buck. Buck says bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Uh, I'll catch you in the morning, and tomorrow will be day three. Okay, good morning, everyone. Back out here at the campsite. It's thundering. It's supposed to rain all day today, so... We're going to pack up today instead of tomorrow. So we want to get packed up before everything gets wet. Because when that happens, we've done it before. We had to take the tent home and put it in the garage and let it dry out. But I had to end up going home late last night. My back was killing me. I thought it was from walking up and down that bank there. But I think that this is what did it. And I didn't have any painkillers with me. So, and all I, all I can take is Tylenol. And uh, I didn't have any Tylenol with me. And she brought some out with her last night, but it was just too late. I could have stayed up on it, you know what I mean? And, uh, but we're reserved till tomorrow, but we're going to go ahead and get the stuff down before it rains. And then I think we're going to try to do a little fishing before it rains. Um, and then that's going to be it. So, if nothing happens, the next, the next clip will be my outro. But if we catch anything, I'll add that in now. Well, you know, in this video. Yep, you guys guessed it. Wow, this is so exciting. He caught something so big. This is what he caught. Another turtle. I hate these things. He loves turtles. He's not very big. He's probably He's... about seven pounds. Yeah? Yeah. He wanted that food, didn't he? Bastard. <laughs> Fishing in the rain, just catch a damn turtle. Yep. I go get him. <laughs> All right, she's gonna get my pliers. I know where you are. Then we're gonna release him. That is so us. Yep, that's, that's us. That's something we would do. <laughs> that's cute. Here, they're making the best of it. It's all right. Call it summer rain. That's cute. <laughs> Red, white, and blue umbrella. <laughs> cool. We're having a blast though. That's what it's all about. So we're just sitting in the truck <laughs> waiting on <laughs> this to pass. Because <laughs> we were fishing in the rain, but it was just like a, a sprinkle. I mean, it was enough to get you a little wet, but it wasn't like pouring. And the sky was real light so we stuck it out and fished and quit raining got nice sun started to come out and then it got real dark over in there so we thought we better come to the truck and wait it out I said we can ride it out and see if uh see if it passes she said yeah because we're we gonna do it home well the same thing we're doing now but <laughs> and it's coming down 
pretty hard. We're under some trees, so. But, yeah, it's, it's porn. <laughs> Sunday. If we, we was talking, if we would have had the big tent out here, we'd just spend another night. Yeah. But, uh, with oh. the two tents, um, you know, she'd be in hers and I'd be in mine. It'd be kind of boring waiting out because we've had to wait this out for several hours in the big tent before. Oh, yeah. And that's not so bad because you sit there and talk, but she said, well, we can holler back and forth, but you ain't going to hear somebody in this. <laughs> so, yeah, if we had the big tent, we, we would have just, just stayed and when it quit raining, went out and fished. But first, uh, I caught something. Yeah, you caught and every time she says it though, when we was getting ready, I was getting I was cutting up bait for us and she said, Oh, you'll probably catch a turtle. <laughs> and that angered me immensely. Because I knew she was right. Twenty minutes later. Caught a turtle. Caught a turtle. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna give it a few more minutes, but I figured this would probably set in. Because, see, it might not even be raining at the house. We're six miles yeah. away from the house. And, like, one day, it stormed out here. And, well, I, no, the day you came to pick me up on my solo. Yeah. And you was late. And it just stopped raining right before she come in. And she said it didn't rain a drop at the house. I said... Oh well, look at this, it stormed like crazy, but the sun had just come out and mm. she said it did, and I said, yeah, it was storming. Mm -hmm. and she said it didn't rain or drop down, nope. it's got the house, everything was dry as a bone. Yeah. That, that's the way it is. We've been out here before and seen it raining over by that clump of trees right there. Mm. And we were right there in our tent and we seen it raining just pouring like this right there and we was in the sun so it's florida's weird uh oh yeah. i think what do you think mom i don't know that's pretty good there <laughs> we're not there we're here oh boy well <laughs> we're gone because even if it stops, that's going to be nothing but a mud hole down there. Yeah. You can see that quartz running down through right there. Yeah, it's, it's nasty. Hmm. All right. Well, guys, let's see. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Mutt. Say she's out for now. Bye, y'all. I still had a lot of fun though. Yeah, we still had fun. Even though I had to go home again. Oh, my back's killing me. Alright guys, Shea Bear to the Man Legend golf for now. We'll see you in the next one. I got reservations for next weekend. Yeah. It still might come out. We'll see. See how I'm feeling. And, I mean, we got the gate code, at least we can come out and go fishing. Or yeah. we'll have the gate code. Yeah. And at least we can do some fishing videos if my back's not right. So, all right, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye bye and take care.